Okay, welcome back to SA Wine Weekly. Have we got a special show for you today? It's second? We're calling it the Lime Coast, Limestone Coast. Coast. Yes, yeah. Winery Winery Tour? Yeah, Limestone Coast. So, your second round today. And we're still in the Coonawarra? We're in the Coonawarra, but we're here today at Penley Estate. Penley Estate. Mm. I've been so looking forward to this. What a spot, eh? I guess we should introduce these two. We should. The lovely ladies from Penley Estate. How are you doing? Excellent, thank thank you. Good. Thanks for being here with us. No worries. Well, let's introduce yourself. Yeah. So my name is Kate Goodman. I am uh, the senior winemaker here at Penley Estate. Fantastic. Okay, tell us one useless but interesting fact about Kate. Useless but interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kate likes to drink tea, but only made from fresh leaves, not bags. Ooh. Mm. Tricky. Oh. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Out of a pot. Always. Cool. I'm Lauren Hanson. I'm the winemaker here at Penley Estate. Uh, my fun but useless fact for you, just in case you wanted to know. You know I, I have a, a lovely Labrador called Maury. Ah. Cool. Chocolate? No, blonde. Blonde? Yes. He's normally at the winery, but uh, we left him home today. Oh, I was going right. to say, there is a time. Yeah, oh, sorry. We'll have a good lab here. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to take some footage and send it. We'll pretend he was here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just let him in the front. Yeah. That's the value of not being live, isn't it? So um, usually, I'm always, people are always whinging that I take too long to get into the wines. Right. Talk too long at the start. So what we'll do is, what wine are we going to start with? Today we are going to start with our Phoenix Cabernet. Phoenix? Cool. Phoenix. It's a little right. story. The Phoenix As behind in, us? The Phoenix. Ah. A wine that Penley Estate has been making for 25 consecutive vintages. Wow. Which is pretty cool. That's an interesting, not useless, but that is an interesting interesting fact. fact. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so we're Um, we're going to start with the with the Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah, it's a perfect place to start because it really is an anchor, I guess, to the entire Penley story. Twenty-five years. Twenty-five years, and that's the 2019 version. Right. Of Phoenix. You want to do the honours? Yeah. So the name Phoenix. Where does that uh, come from? So the owners of Penley Estate come from. a couple of like a lineage of distillers and winemakers and their uh, father's side of the family came from the Tolly family who were distillers of fi- very fine brandy oh. and little, one little of the um, one of their oh. distilleries Oof. was the Phoenix distillery okay. and that's where the and name Phoenix has originates. come from oh, wow. a bit more. Bit one of the originals yes. yes. yeah. oh, beautiful look oh yeah top oh. maples out yeah. You're going light Speaking on the pause. <laughs> 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 Tides out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we were just getting into the history before we were really interrupted. but So, distillery. Brand, right. And it was a pretty cracking brandy, wasn't it? That's right. Originally in the UK, and then the Tolly family emigrated to Adelaide and had a distillery here in Adelaide. Mm-hmm. Or up there in Adelaide. And, uh, well, when are, we th- when are we thinking? <laughs> Around about when? That's an exceptionally good question. It is? Yep. Okay. What I don't know the answer to. 1894? <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good answer. I just made that, I made that up. So. The late 1800s. All the numbers out of nowhere. The late 1800s. Late 1800s, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. There's, and that's when they came to Coonawarra? That's when they were in Adelaide. Adelaide. And yes. when did they come to the Coonawarra? The 1980s. The 1980s? Yes. So the Tolly siblings, Ang and Beck, and their brother Kim um, decided that it was time for them to have their own wine business and they purchased land down here because they thought it was just the perfect spot to grow Cabernet in particular and planted the first vines on this this site back in the ni- late 1980s. Right, and what, what's the significance of the Red Sports Cat? That's uh, all got to do with a meeting of two people and a lady who was attracted to a gentleman in a red sports car and thought he was a bit hot. Oh, okay. And she liked the car by the sounds yeah. of it and the person yeah. inside of it. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we, um, what should we be smelling? What are, actually, we'll start with the novices. Jade, what are you smelling? What am I smelling? Let's give it a little wet. Okay. Not as strong as some of I've smelled. Some berries there in the inside. Some berries? Mm-hmm. Some berries. 
No doubt some grapes. What are you, <laughs> girls, what about colour-wise? The colour's gorgeous. A beautiful, deep magenta. Magenta, that's a good, that is, that is, that is a great like word. Mm. I'm, st I'm storing that. I'm storing that and I'll be using it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a very deep magenta. I'll pretend like I made that up myself. Okay, you can take it. Thank you. Just chop claim that one. Chop yeah. a little bit of Kate saying it and no. cut straight to you. <laughs> Adriana won't do that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Should we have a little uh, yeah. taste? Okay, ladies first. Wow. Mm. You look very surprised. Smoother than I expected to start. Shh, you got the winemakers next to you. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful. The flavours afterwards is lovely. There's a little, like a little bit of a grip there, a little bit of a dry tannin at the end, but full of flavour. How do you feel about it? Oh, to me, oh, it was a lot lighter than what I was expecting. I was always expecting yeah. a lot yeah. bolder wine, but as I'm learning pretty quickly about the Coonawarra, it's more about the elegance. It could be and it should be. It could be and yes. it should be. You know, Jeez, is it? it's a region that does, I guess, does have a bit of a reputation for big, bold, tannic red wines. Yes. Mm -hmm. But Cabernet can be many, many different things if you allow it to be. And mm. we like medium framed, nice, yeah, delicious well Cabernet. Yeah, yeah. It's it's fruit, so it's no, nice and young. Yeah, well, yeah. there's a trick to that, isn't there? Yeah. Being able to um, produce it so it's ready to ready drink, to drink. Mm. as yeah. well. So you said this was a 2019? Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it doesn't taste like a Not at all. young Not wine at all, does no. it? And um, who, who, who really concentrates on, the, on this wine out of you two? Are you both working together on it or...? Very much a shared effort. Yeah? Yeah. All of the wines? Yeah. 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 Two minds are better than one. Yeah. Two palettes are better than one. Yeah, very true. Yeah. And is one yeah. creative and tries to do things out Outside of the box? The box. <laughs> and the other one. One more organised. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we complement <laughs> each other. So you can work out which one's which. No, oh, no, wouldn't, wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> yeah, don't come, don't come into my office and you'll really know. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, that That's is... That's lovely. That's really lovely. Very smooth and full of flavour. Yeah. Soft, easy to drink. Mm. And approachable. You know, this is a Cabernet that can be had just about anywhere, anytime. Mm -hmm. It's not... You know, it's delicious, it's varietal, it's got plenty of flavour and punch. Punch? And it doesn't need a massive big piece of steak mm. to, to satisfy you. Like, yeah. Well, it doesn't yeah. need. Yeah. Well, I think... <laughs> Because this Cabernet is, you know, a perfect all-rounder and we are heading into footy season and I like to go to a bit of country footy and sometimes I might pop a bottle of red yeah. in the uh, esky in or the in the bag, in, in the thermos, because <laughs> maybe you're not supposed to sneak it in. And I think this goes perfectly well with a bowl of plain chips. Goes with anything. Let's give what? it a go. A bowl of plain chips. You got yeah. it. Crinkle cut. Got to be crinkle cut. Got to be crinkle cut. Got to be plain. Original, beautiful. Right. Bit because of salt with it. it can be had just about anywhere. Watching so, a movie, sitting around an open fire, campfire, yeah. camping. Freeze, mm -hmm. Freezing mm -hmm. at the footy on the boundary. Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. Red yeah. wine. <laughs> Perfect to warm you up by the footy. Definitely. Yep. Mm. So, yeah. I actually coach girls footy. Oh. I coach uh, the Point Lunga under 14 girls. And oh. um, we, I just, we are undefeated, so I thought I'd just mention that. Yeah, and uh, we're looking pretty good. We're Excellent. looking pretty good. We've got 37 girls in the That's under great. 14s. This is amazing, That's isn't it? It's fantastic. Awesome. And uh, there's more and more coming out. So we're loving the footy. And uh, I'm pretty sure the mums will be commenting because they wouldn't mind some uh, chips and chips red and wine on the side. Speaking of, yeah. like Kylie, how are you doing? Yeah. So um, <laughs> Jade's niece plays in my team. We didn't know that either. Yeah. Again, two degrees for separation. Yeah, it's always nice. as it is. Right, so right, yeah. are you guys going to have some chips with it? Or? Chip. I'm really interested see. to see what uh, Jade's take is on it. Yeah. I, I like the fact that you brought something on that you like to have with it rather than what's on the tasting notes. Because mm -hmm. that, to yeah. me, that's way more important. Because anyone can write up what 
and capture gate width. But the actual chips, when I saw it, when I saw it on the run, run sheet, I was laughing my head off. I thought that was exactly what I it wanted. It made me giggle. But hey, it works. Doesn't take away from the flavour of the wine. That's no? lovely. Right. No, no. Maybe you guys can do some pairing. talking and I can try it. Yeah. For me, it just illustrates that wine doesn't always have to be a serious proposition. No. It can just be something yeah. to be enjoyed. You taste it. You mm. might think about it, but you don't necessarily have to. And you can just get yeah. back to what you're doing. So, yeah, exactly. You know. Yeah. Pull out a bottle whenever you feel like and yeah. have it with what you've got around. Yeah. And I quite like the salt mm. from the chips with... Yeah, yeah it really helps with that little tannin. Mm. It does. It, yeah, yeah, it increases works. that a little yeah. bit, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it exactly. really does. I'm very partial to chips, as you might have yeah, noticed. Yeah, really. but, um, a bit of salt. <laughs> yeah, and with a bit of salt, but that, mm -hmm. that's a great pairing. It is. An but, easy pairing. And I love, pairing. The, I love the footy yeah. analogy too, as well. Yep. Now, we've got, to remind, we've got to remind people that um, these amazing wines, all they've got to do offer. is comment. Like, share, comment. Oh, increase your chances, your chances by liking and sharing and that's jumping it. on any platform you can and commenting more, especially mums from the footy club. Or okay, your or dads. Yeah. Or dads. True. Or dads. Um, 20, I can't get over the 25, 26 years. Yeah. So my question before we move on to the next wine is how long could you lay it down for? Easy 10. Okay. Easy 10. I think so. When's, yeah. When would prime... Oh, when would prime be? So mm. That's tricky because when we make Phoenix, we are always... We're making Cabernet that's got perfect balance when it's released. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's 2019, so it's yep. released as a young wine. But we want to have a bit of tan in there, so it will go go some distance. I don't know, maybe five years. Okay. Or okay. now. Yep, five years or now. Now, well, we're we'll always saying. Really well so, well exactly, yeah. it's drinking well now. We so do always a, say you have to buy six. You have to and drink a couple now, put yeah. a couple away yeah. for a yeah. five year period, and then. Nothing really lasts in my cellar for 10 years, but if uh, maybe <laughs> seven. Lucky if it does. Yeah, mm. true. Um, but the whole idea is buy six, put them away, and then, you know what I like to do? I like to bring the same wine out with the same visitors, whether it's a few mm. years later. So you yeah. bring out, and you'll talk about, reminisce about the years. Yeah, trying the progression of the wine over time. Yeah, it's yeah. really nice. It's so good. you keep a little visitor's logbook. I was going to say, oh. your memory's better than mine. <laughs> so I, don't have any, <laughs> I don't have that many friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same two people. It's the same group. <laughs> I've got one wine in my cellar. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, one friend and one wine, but yeah, yeah. thanks, kids. No, that's lovely. We have to finish that one off, I think. And, um, yeah, actually threw me. Yes. When I smelt it, and I actually thought it was going to be a lot bigger, but it was yeah, uh, okay. really drinkable. We like Approachable. To, mm. yeah. yeah, we like to talk that's about true. having a contemporary or a modern take on a really old grape variety. All right, I'm thoroughly looking forward to uh, mine too. On to the next. So we're moving on to the second pairing of wines. So what pairing, are pairing Well, of we're wines. doing uh, two glasses here. This is something a little bit different, isn't it? It is. What We've are we, we going to do? We thought we'd, uh, you know, break things up and show you two wines alongside each other. So we've got... Ooh. These two? These two, yes. Which are? We have, firstly, our 2020 Project Shiraz Cabernet. So both wines are part of our project range, which are one-off, every vintage they change, and it's a really an opportunity for Kate and I to you know, throw a new idea into the mix to trial you know, a new variety or a new method or you know, anything that pops into our minds. Um, Fantastic. Right, so this bit, one's... Yeah, creative venture on those wines. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Where does the Shiraz come from? Both the Shiraz and Cabernet are from our estate vineyard oh, here okay. on site in Coonawarra. And the, the reason that this is a little different and it's in our project range is it's 100% whole bunch. So rather than removing the berries from the bunches during fermentation, we leave the bunches intact. The whole thing goes in. The whole thing goes in. Oh, yeah. wow. So yeah, totally. whole, whole bunch. So when we're talking about changing the flavour profile, how? Why? For the layman. So you, the fermentation then happens inside the berry rather than busting up the skins and having it all sort of broken, broken down. So when your fermentation happens inside the berry, it's called carbonic maceration for the wine nerds, and you get this really perfumed, 
cherry bomb, sort of fragrant, delicious fruit profile with a real minerally sort of feel okay. as well. It's pretty interesting. It really does change the taste and the shape of the wine. Okay. The shape of the wine. Yep. The, wine. the way it. Mm. The way it sits in your mouth. Feels, yep. Ah, yep. Okay. Yeah. Don't mind me, I'm and just taking a while to open this bottle. That's <laughs> right, that's like me. Have we, have we got some and thinking music? <laughs> oh, I'm holding a different corkscrew. We've right. opened a brand new one and it's uh, not doing what it's supposed to. Wow. It's okay. Nice and get snug in there, that one, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> the other interesting thing about this wine, if you think about Australian wine, Shiraz Cabernet is a very traditional blend. Yes. So this is our contemporary or modern expression of a very classic Australian blend. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm actually yeah. really intrigued. Um, we'll look at a different version of Shiraz Cab later. Yeah. But this is our the modern, modern take yeah. on wow. an Aussie classic. Now you said that um, every project, you know, every year, who gets to choose what's what? Do you discuss it or do you, do you just pull rank and do what you want? <laughs> if required, I oh, will. Well. <laughs> Look, it hasn't happened yet. yet. No, right. we, we don't yet. It hasn't happened yet. No, yeah, okay. it's a collaborative effort. And we try lots of things in the winery, but not everything makes it over the finish line. Yep. Not everything is good enough to get into a bottle on its own. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's got to go to your stand. So they still have to be yet. delicious. Yeah, of course. And not just experimental. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what about a SA Wine Weekly first? What's what's happening this year with an awesome vintage? What's what's the uh, is it or is it classified? You have to tell us. Ooh. You'll have to kill us. I'm glad you asked Kate this question. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't want to get, I didn't want to get in trouble. Yeah. Okay. Look, we, cause we've had such an exceptional vintage here this year yeah. in terms of um, our wine quality and the growing season. We've got lots of things to choose from. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a pretty good chance that we may get some Merlot over the line into a project, okay. mm. which is pretty cool. Yep. A straight Merlot. A straight, straight we actually Merlot. had a cracking Merlot uh, last night. Last, yeah. We did some pretty cool field blends where we picked Shiraz Cabernet Merlot on the same day and fermented them together as, yeah. one, as one wine in two different techniques, one being whole bunch ah, and one being a together. more traditional destemmed fermenter. You guys have been having some fun. So, you know, yeah. 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 It's been a fun with it all. Yeah. 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 You've got to learn yeah. every year. Yeah. So yeah. we try different things and try and learn something new. It's fine. That then translates into our core range. Yeah. All right. So yeah. the nation will find yeah. out what you love yeah. and what blends work and, and come out with a beautiful with bottle. Yeah. 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 Well, that's fantastic. And all of our wines do come from our own vineyard, except the occasional project. <laughs> so all of our wines come from the same, except? Except for, yeah. occasionally we might do a project, like this year, where we got some Grenache Ooh. off ancient vines. So that's pretty cool. It yeah, is pretty cool. Alright, let's have a look. Right, we'll go to colour first. I need more, I need more. Can I have more white plate, please? Your plate? Yeah. Oh, yes, that's right. This We're is, a, this right is a trick that Jill no, taught me that I've actually. Not the brown bench. No. But no. Paul's, um, I think my heavy breathing's kind of <laughs> fogged the glass yeah. up a little bit too. But... Well, who could blame me, really? Look at the colour of that. That's more of a bit. I like that burgundy almost. Yeah? yeah. Nice and young. So it's a bit of mulberry. Really yeah. Purple there. Very yeah. purple, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yep. Ruby. And Ruby's a good one. Oh, smelling? Like what are we smelling? This is your wine, so let's. Ooh. What are we smelling? Ooh. So many things. That whole bunch fermentation's really given it a beautiful spice. It's a nice. I'm not, really, I'm not really good at smelling smelling spice. Jade yeah, always right says, "Oh, I can smell that." Yeah. Yeah, spice. Yeah, it's like that Middle Eastern spice. Middle Eastern mm. spice. Jeez, oh, it's more than Italian spice. It's more of a Middle Eastern it's spectrum, more than, than, Italian than Italian spectrum. Yeah. Right, eh? Star and East St. Cardamon. Star and East. Mm -hmm. That's oh. my that's my little wine cheat sheet, it is Star and East. It is. The spices that you would put in a hot cross bun mix. 
Oh, oh that's so good. Ah, that is so toasty. good. Okay, yeah. lovely. That's what it smells like. Yep. Oh, Easter. Yeah. Yes. Like. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, you girls have a taste. Are you ready for a taste? Yeah. Yep. The colour's got me. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. A little surprising on the palate. Yeah. It is. She's actually wow, lost her words for once. In. Forever. It's like, wow. Hang on, let me have another little taste. Oh, it's a lot lighter than what I modern. Mm, very. It is. Mm. But the tannin's still there. It's got that really nice dry sort of tannin there. I quite like that. That's really lovely. And I actually like it a lighter wine, even though we come from the land of the Shiraz, or we might say. We're evolving to the land of Grenache, McLaren Vale, but I love my Pinots mm, and yes. I love my Grenaches. Yep. And this is, was, yeah, very That's a surprising. Lunch. Yeah. But it's, it's easy to drink though. It's like not real, not a real heavy mouthfeel or anything that goes with it. Does it remind you of a bag of jelly beans? A few, few different colours little, popped in together. A sweet little, like, Does it? There's a lot happening in the mouth. Yeah, yeah, that like really a, juicy, juicy, yeah. juicy. Yeah. 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 Sweet. Yeah. You know what it does do? It, it leaves you wanting more. Mm -hmm. as, soon as, you have, as soon as you've had it. A... That's why I've gone in for three sips already. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. <laughs> All right, well, you're supposed to actually be helping. Not... <laughs> Here I am, just soaking it in. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, no, that was, that was great. It's super delicious, isn't it? Yeah, just. And wine should be delicious. It should. It, sh it definitely should. It should. And that's what oh, I struggled with. Um, and the old Italians in McLaren Bay always gave me grief because they said when I grow up my palate will change and I will like the heavier wines. Yeah. But it hasn't. I'm old enough now and you think it would have. But um, I, this is a really easy drinking and it's just doing so much. And the juicing yeah. the good. I'm not sure about the jelly beans, but. Um, <laughs> well, there's a little sweetness there. Maybe some Isn't red that frogs, that's like red confectionery. Mm. Oh, that's, that is great. That's sensational. And so, um, how much should we make of it? If it's a project wine, it would obviously depend on how good the vintage is, how, mm -hmm. but how much should we make of this? Oh, it would have been maybe 200 cases, thereabouts. Wow, so not wow. a fairly small production. Yeah. Especially when we're pushing the boundaries and trying new things, we keep it small just start in small. case. Yeah. yeah, you know, start yeah. small. Yep. And you then, know, if it works, it might increase the next later, year. Or, or, yeah. yeah. The only problem with that is when you come up with a cracking wine like that, there's not enough of it. Yeah, yeah. yes, there is that. Right. That definitely well, happens. Well, well, Speaking of wanting more. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> think, I, don't, I don't think we'll be giving that one away. Well, that one we probably won't make it to the someone beginning. comment for me, please? Thanks very yeah. much. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just get on and create a couple more aliases. That's it. Get your uh, so puppet accounts. Yeah. Yeah. Send in a few votes. <laughs> oh, no, they're all over it. The mums are all Perfect. over it. They've uh, finally worked it out that uh, they can win wine. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Got the incentive to learn how to comment and use the Facebook. Oh, yeah. haven't they? Oh, they're all over there arguing at training. Why have you been winning and I haven't? I've been commenting. And... <laughs> That's hilarious. He likes you more than me. Yeah. Why isn't he picking my comments? He's not picking my daughter, but I'm winning mine, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that is awesome. It is. And um, it was surprising. It was, and just um, a lot lighter than I presumed. Easy to drink. I think this one there is going on at my dangerous scale. <laughs> Too easy to drink yeah. kind of bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Pinot-esque in that sort of... Yeah, yeah well... Yeah, that's probably that why it's appealing to you. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. right up my alley. Yeah. yeah. And, and you wouldn't think it with those varieties either, like... Yeah, no. Too serious varieties, but made in a really fun style. Yeah. That yeah. should be on the label. That should be on the label. <laughs> yeah. That's your right up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's excellent. So... Are we going to try, we're going to, what are we going to do? We're going to try food with it or are we going to go yeah, try the second one? Are we going to try wine? the other and then pair? Yeah. Or By the time I like open this second bottle, we, we could have eaten. <laughs> we could <laughs> probably have finished that. Okay. <laughs> See if I can do a, a so, job. That's okay. beautiful, that bottle, by the way. Look at the artwork on that. That's absolutely gorgeous. Is that painted? Is that like a painting type? It's an illustration by an artist by the name of Bruna Vittori. She's mm -hmm. uh, Portuguese. And she reached out to us via Instagram to see if we could collaborate on a label. Oh, wow. Yeah. And they've done an amazing job. Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty stunning. It's beautiful. The power of social media. Totally. Yeah. That's it. 
All right, let's... Before I rip it off, it's also a fun little wax cap. Ah, like, on top. Yeah, nice. To match the egg, the egg shape label, egg shape label, and the yellow matches. Oh, oh that's so clever. Bit of fun. All the detail that goes into it just makes that a little bit of difference. Exactly. What are we having our food pairing wise with these project wines? Mm. Today we are going to try these wines with some Asian style steamed pork buns. Wow. wow. Let's do it. Yeah, it's watery. And there's also a vegetarian bun. I think it's a mushroom version. Right. Which one's that? One of those. Because I'll avoid that one. Uh, I'm guessing... We won't know till we get in. Will we? Well, the four at the front look the same. Yeah. And I think they might be the vegetarian ones. All right. Are based on absolutely nothing. Okay. Just and the ones at the back, I think, might be the uh, the ethically raised pork buns. Right. With so a bit are of we gonna... chilli dipping sauce in Ooh, the middle, which will mix it up delicious. if you're brave. Right. I'll, 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 go. I'll have Why a crack at the chilli. Right. Do you want to pour some wine? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. So which one, sorry? We went through this one I think... Which one are we going to start? I think they're pork mm -hmm. and they're vegetarian. Okay. But I might have to guess. Yes, that's yes. correct. You're getting the thumbs up from the sidelines, yeah? <laughs> Let's just have fun. Let's pick and see. Well, just in case. Excuse me. Right. Yeah, we didn't do tongs, did we? There's chopsticks if you want chopsticks. Yeah, but no things. But that might make, make sure it just the same really, same too. really complicated. Yeah, no. Could you do it with chopsticks? Probably not. No? Well, maybe, but I'm not going to try. <laughs> <laughs> if you said no, I was, no, right, no, was going to say, please grab one. So these are the... They're, they're the, the m pork, they're the vegetarian. Thank you. LH. Why, oh, thank you. How scorching hot is chilli? Um, depends on the batch, I think. So in other words, you're, you're about to find out. Tell me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't you. tried it. Yeah, sure, I'm going to try a little bit. Let's branch out, see how it complements with wine. Oh, it smells like it might be hot. Hot. Yeah, it's making my eyes water just this small. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go light on the side. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to do this. I'm just going to do smart move. Well done. <laughs> I've just got a huge hunk on top. Great. Yeah. Oh, it smells delicious. Or silly, though. one or the other. We'll find out. <laughs> How beautiful. All right. Okay. So we're going to mm. try. We're going to try this first. This. Yeah. Have a little taste and see how it blends with our pairing. Tell me about this project, one. So this project is our 2020 Project E Cabernet. Mm -hmm. So this Cabernet was made in our concrete egg fermenter. Ah, hence the bottle and the way it looks. Yes. That's very cute. Hence the yeah. shape of the label and yeah. the yellow on top of the cork. Um, and it stayed on skins in the egg for 211 days. Exactly. Exactly, yes. And why is that so precise? Well, every single day was another nervous decision, like, do we need okay. to press it yet? Is it now? Is, is it, it now? now? Is okay. it the time? So it's contributed to a few grey hairs. Um, <laughs> a little bit of extra little stress. Little slight amount of stress. Yeah. <laughs> but I really think the stress has paid off. It's so quite oh a my. unique style of Cabernet. Well, tell me more about the eggshell. Egg so it is a thick concrete. It's probably about as tall as you. This way. It holds 1,800 litres. You can say about as wide as you as well. <laughs> yeah. fine, no. Probably about as, about as wide as the four of us standing oh, here. Thanks. Yep. Nice yeah. And uh, the, the concrete is really quite thick, so when we put the fruit in there at the start of the fermentation, if it goes in at about 20, it'll really maintain a lovely even temperature throughout the fermentation. So it's a nice, wow. slow, steady, even ferment. So it sounds like it was um, quite labour intensive, if we're checking it all the time. <laughs> Yeah, Absolutely. and that's like on a daily basis. Yeah. So after a certain period of time, you're checking it just to make sure it's perfect by the time you move. Yeah, yeah. Daily, daily towards the end. Out the yeah, at the end, okay. definitely daily. But, no, of course, the, not the start. Yeah, still too green. Yeah. Yeah. And through yeah. that yeah. big chunk in the middle, it's almost like we lock it up and then check it. Let it sit there happily for a little while and smell the top. Yeah, yeah it's still happy. And okay. what are we looking for for? Yeah. What was what was so good about it on the 211th day, day that made it right? <laughs> the 
the longer it spends on skins, the, the tannins really seem to integrate and soften in with the fruit. And it, mm. when we tasted it towards now the I'm end, really towards that to 211th it. day, yeah. the tannins were just looking really soft and spelt and really sitting in with the fruit. A florally fruity balance. Everything, yeah, all the pieces yeah. of the puzzle had just pushed in together and there were no gaps anywhere. Yeah. All fit perfectly and that was the time yeah. to bring it out in the middle. Yeah. Yep. So this right. wine has also seen no oak. No it's oak. Pretty much pressed. Not at all. Yeah. Filtered and filled to bottle within ah. a week sort of thing. We hold it in this concrete fermenter for all that time without yeah. sulphur. Right eh? And then, no no oak. then we press yeah. it, add a little bit of sulphur, so it's had minimal sulphur that's added, yeah. and then it goes straight to bottle. Yeah. All the tannin is fruit tannin. I was about to say, the smell is so fruity, it's got that real smell. Right, well, that's intriguing me. Is, it, is there many wines made in that process? or? I don't know how many don't is go it, to barrel. Is it an older process, the way? Um, or, to be honest, I've never heard of it, so. No. Not that that makes it unique, but. It's not super common, but there's definitely, you know, people around the place using. Why do you do it? I was going to say, what made you want to try yeah, it? Yeah. Because you can. Because yeah. yeah. it's a project. Yeah. 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 And an egg shaped fermenter is quite an old, if you think about the old, you know, um, like vase shapes. Huh. That from from Roman times when wine was fermented, yeah. it's it's that sort of that sort of shape. From Georgian times. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Which sort of encourages like fluid flow within the vessel without actually having to move it yourself, without so having to pump the wine around. So they're lazy. So sort of pretty much. Yeah. So just <laughs> let them roll. Yep. I'm Cabernet's a great variety with really beautiful natural tannin, and we just wanted to. Initially, it was like, let's just see how long we can leave it on skins for. Let's see what it does. Okay. And that was the very first project. Right? And right. then we just sort of kept leaving it. And that's where the name it. comes from. Yeah. And leaving it until we end yeah. up with something like this. Okay. All right. Colour, Jay? Colour's gorgeous. Not as dark as the first. Again, I'm going to use that ruby tone that you used before. That's quite gorgeous. Yeah. A little bit of a pinky tone in there too. Like it's a little, little what, bit of what, blush what are we smelling? throughout. Now, let's have a smell. The girls have gone straight to drinking it. <laughs> they know what it smells like. No, they've got their bottles before. <laughs> okay. Yep, quite fruity. Wow. Let's have a little taste. You like that one? Yes. The um, tannin at the end of it. Oh, okay. I've got to catch up. Very, very dry. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? it? But didn't, when I first had a sip of it, I thought, oh, gee, that's really light. Full of and flavour, then, and then it grips. Yeah. Oh, you love me. Oh, wow. Now. Yeah, I do. Oh, I do. I'll get you a thesaurus. I like that. Mm. Oh, it's nice. It sort of coats the inside. The entire. It's, that's fantastic. Yeah. Girls, what should we be? All of those things. Yeah. All of the above. The thing with leaving your wine on those grape skins for so long is uh -huh. the tannin actually, over time, they sort of That's put bizarre. it into layman's term. The tannins basically join up and get bigger, which means right. they feel softer and more textural in your mouth. So that's where you're getting that sort of mouth that coating, sort of yeah. plenty of tannins yep. sort of going going on. Yeah, yeah, and it was yeah, it was bizarre. No, no oak, no. No oak. No. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. So a core of really beautiful fruit. I said lots of sour. That sort of black cherry. Yeah, sort of definitely. Sour cherry. Yep. Yeah. 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 A bit of black currant and cassis. Yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. It didn't taste it's anything very like different the smell. To the other project. No, it doesn't. No. I don't know. I don't know if the smell actually does it justice. I don't know if it smells it. I was like, I wasn't. Ex yeah, I didn't expect. It Is that because it's got? Right. Has mm. been in oak. Uh, no, I. I was probably looking for that oaky characteristic when I was smelling it, but 
Well, I shouldn't have been because I said no, that was no that's, Yeah, but that's what you go for. Yeah. I think that's what you, yeah, aim to smell. And it's really interesting when it's absent from the, from the smell of the wine. And then wow. That you really flavour behind fruit. it. Yeah. yeah. That's, and that's so drying, different. sort of like oaky, what you normally get, taste. But that's fantastic. Once again, though, it's very... It's not overpowering or it's very um, drinkable yes. or elegant, as Paul taught us to say. Um, yeah, it was, yeah, bizarre. 100% Cabernet. 100% Cabernet. Okay. Yep. There you go. Just done a different way. Done a very different way. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That, is, that must have been fun. The project is fantastic. It really that's was. Yeah, that's a great yeah. idea. And calling it the project as well is really great. It's just... That experimental sort of name, and it just goes along with the, the way that you make the wine. Right, we've got to yeah. try. We've got to try these um, awesome buns with our. So I think you girls should right. go first. How do we uh, take this elegantly? Just I don't think there's there's no, no, so, so, so use your fingers. Just I'm just break. gonna pick it up and take like a mouthful. You're gonna just have a massive bite. I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to it. do that, otherwise it's gonna break into a thousand pieces. Right. I'm gonna try breaking. Yeah, yeah, I think that might be the way. Yeah, it's a bit easier. So. Small batch wines, and obviously we're going to, we're going to be giving mm. some away to people who come in on it. So get in there, get in there quick, because um, there will be some aliases made up, no doubt, mm -hmm. from Jade and myself. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yep. um, thinking about it with that bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's and what a story too. When you are, because that's what I love about wine. I love pulling a bottle of wine, whether the story's true or not, or I make it up. We just I pull it out, and if you pull something like that, and you're explaining to people why. You're pouring it and drinking it, how it's made differently and things like yep. that. It brings so much more to the bottle. Oh, for it sure. It really does. Yeah. It's a great... Um, right. One little more mouth. And I'd never heard of it either, which, um, like I said, doesn't mean that it's um, anything mm -hmm. um, unusual. But, um, yeah, totally different than I expected. That's and how, how are we going with the uh, pairing? We're getting through it. Just probably wait till you don't have a mouthful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, fair enough. You okay. get, which wine are you going to go for first? I think I'm going to try the first one. Yeah. Okay. Need a little drum roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the sweetness of the bun changes it slightly. Yeah. Maybe it brings out a little bit more of the fruit. Let's have a look. Mmm. Because yep. it is a real sweet pastry, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it if is. If it's a yeah. pastry, I guess. Just, yeah. Mm. I'm finding it's bringing out maybe the fruit flavour a little bit more. How do you feel? Was that... Uh, for me, it works. How'd you go with that one? Did <laughs> go down the yeah. wrong hole? <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't drink it at the same time. Empty glass. Yeah. Yeah. He's got no pairing left. <laughs> no, I need, I need beer. <laughs> that chilli's so hot. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> I haven't delved into it yet. Oh, so no. I did it without the chilli. Yes, yeah, so I just tried the plain bun. So, how did the chili change it? Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. That's you know, not good. The light, it's really hot in here. Chili's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'll put the heater oh, on. Oh, God, I'm glad I didn't jump for that one first. No, I'm, I'm just going to get, I'm already burning, so I'm just going to oh, go for it. Oh, go and do it. Yeah. That's it. You might burn your taste buds off. Then you can't taste the rest of the wine. No, I haven't tasted it. <laughs> See? Chili's optional. <laughs> I knew when you said I wasn't sure how hot it was that it was going to be scorching gonna and, be then, yeah. and then I saw you yeah. guys put it on the side. I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. I did it the right way, ladies. <laughs> so what are you supposed to be tasting, I guess, with your buns and then the wine as well? What do you find that, that it's bringing out for you? What are we supposed to be? Spicy, spicy food and red wine, mm -hmm. there's an analogy that it doesn't go together. Mm. See, I, I kind of just, our lightest style, easy to drink. Mm -hmm. I, th I think it goes actually yep. really well with it. Mind you, um, I quite like that. I know, I'm well, only, I I'm, I'm only a glass of milk or some so. yogurt or something. <laughs> and we're in that sort of Asian, I guess, spectrum of yes. a dish. Yep. And yep. to me, it brings out some of the, you know, we talked about the five spice and cardamom and some so Asian is. characters, some a the, oh. you know, the Middle Eastern sort of spice, mm -hmm. spice route with, mm -hmm. with this. So for me, there's that. Sweetness of the bun yep. and the unctuousness of the pork sort of really sort of sits nicely with mm. that Ooh. freshness that's and the fruitfulness that's in both of those wines. Yeah, I think it complements well. I quite like that pairing. Yeah, you know I'd what I would really, I'd, I'd really like to try it with? Mm. Hot cross bun. 
Yeah, oh, see, after you've talked about all the yeah, yeah. cinnamon with all the sweets, the hot crust bun now has made you tear, hasn't it? Yeah, it's good lashings of butter. No chilli. Yeah, no chilli. Avoid that one next time. I may try it. It was actually quite nice chilli, but it was a lot hotter than I expected. Well, I'm about to find out because I'm going to go for the chilli. You're going to go for it? I am. Yeah, go on. I am. Just to make the because we've we've struggled to find wines that mix well with like hotter foods. And um, a lot of people ask us a lot of questions. Like we've got to um, follow a bit of a heckler who loves his curries, and he's going, guys, what, what wine? So oh. James, stop heckling and um, put some decent comments, maybe yeah, some um, complimentary comments about the host. That's not, it. not Jade this time, but me. Yeah. And um, you never know. This would go. Re- he makes a pretty mean curry as yeah. well. So. And now you can try that one with these spicy foods. I reckon, yeah. I reckon that might go with curry well. This one. The egg. Yeah, that's yeah. the egg. Juicy We're about to fruit. see with a little chilli, so yeah. I'll see how that one goes. All right. All right. Let's have a little yeah. sip. Would you reckon we can get a curry whipped up quickly? Mm-hmm. I don't know, there's no such <laughs> thing. Who's asking no for a lot today, isn't it? Yeah, no, <laughs> we could okay. taste it, though, couldn't we? With, with James's curry in the studio. That's right. Mm-hmm. We could definitely do that. With James's bottle. Without James. Mm-hmm. When he but, wins. Yeah. You won. <laughs> Cook us a curry, bring it in. And share the one with us. Well, that's probably not a bad idea. He does have a quite a good face for radio though, so maybe we might not get him on. Face oh, for radio, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, chili's delicious. Yeah, wait. You just wait. I'm pretty yeah, good definitely I'm pretty good chili. It does, isn't it? Yeah. Especially when you coat the whole bun with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think the, the smothering may have helped with that. No, that's all right. I'll finish okay. mine, no worries. Do you need a top up? Um, he always needs a top up. No, I'm good. We've got a few more to go, haven't we? we I, did, I did actually really like those two, though. Not that I didn't like the first ones, but um, yeah, something different. They are a bit different, yeah. That's why it's cool, okay. isn't it? So, yeah. And like I said, it would have been fun for you guys. Something out of the ordinary, you know. Yep. Test your skills. Yeah. Yeah. And break that regional mould that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that, you know, of big... Yeah, for me, that already... Yeah, just, red wine. Yeah, when I saw the, the list... Is just so oh, different. It's really when nice. I saw the wine list for today, I went, oh, all those massive cabs. Massive flat Jade's going to be in real trouble. <laughs> I was in my element. I was like, this is, is going to be my favourite day ever. But, Jason's um, going to have to drag me out by my hair by the yeah, end of these ones. Yeah, we'll think about so. carrying her out by the scruff of the neck. But, um, <laughs> so if people wanted to come come and find you. Um, the cellar door's not open at the moment. Um, mm. How do they get your wines? What's the best way to do it? Is oh, either... Online, website. Online, website. website. Yeah. Penley.com.au is the best way to, to track us down. And if they were good supporters of SA Wine Weekly and they watch the whole show, they might even get a little bit of a special at the end of it. Mm, might get a little special with a code that they could enter at the same time for any six or 12. Pack? Yes. Not mixed. Half a dozen, not a dozen. Not mixed, because that's too much work in the back end. But it, <laughs> it is. It's much easier just <laughs> straight out. And we say six or twelve, because otherwise the postage is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah. 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 See, I've learned something over the time. Yeah. 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 I've learned something. And you may as well go twelve. Really, that they're that good. And Especially when you go, when you want to store each. it in different, yeah, in different ways. Six of each. Mm-hmm. Oh, of all, that's, uh, oh, that's, a, that's a lot of wine. Well, you said you need <laughs> a lot of wine. <laughs> you do? Yeah. Oh, do you have can any we... socials that you can follow and that people can get in contact with you through Instagram or Facebook? Yeah, or it's like... all Penley Estate on Instagram, Estate. Facebook. Easy. YouTube? Uh, probably not YouTube. Oh, you might have I don't think, chat to you about that. But maybe we need to change that up. Yeah, mm-hmm. especially with all these new videos you have. Who doesn't love a camera, eh? That's it. <laughs> and the next generation will be watching on YouTube yes, for sure. They will be, yes. Yeah, and learning a little bit more about one. And what about a useless but interesting fact? Our greatest viewership at the moment is India. The fastest growing wine market in the world. Mm, it's crazy. It's speaking yeah. of mixing curry with wines, yeah. that's the way to wow. go. Yeah. There's, yeah. A, there's a reason we threw that in that's there. It. But, you know, there you go. We've got to look after our Indian viewers. Um, so yeah, it's actually gone crazy. Well, I think it was like 30% of our last um, our videos that were on YouTube were viewers from India. That's oh. awesome. I'd probably got something to do with they're in lockdown, but... Yeah. Yeah, maybe. But it is the fastest growing wine market in the world. And Japan. Also, have um, said, don't worry about China. 
We don't mind wine, and we've um, got really poor quality wine. We're looking at looking for some good Australian quality wine. So I think the Japanese, you know. Do you know any Japanese? Any Mandarin? No. Oh, right. Wish I did. Oh yeah, not a good one. Very well. That's about it. I used to be able to count to ten when I was primary school. So okay. we've just in one ear out the other. First, we've just started sending wine to Japan. Oh really? Yes. Right. Well, there so you go. The demand is there. there. There you go. We don't do much in India, but we do a lot in uh, South Korea. So, well, the Koreans love it, don't they? Yeah. South Korea, Russia. Yeah. Girls, that was great. Yeah, that was fantastic. Thank you. And great parents. Yeah, some, something different again. Something different. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we like to experiment. Yes. Oh, Project. Projects. Projects. And if you were looking for something different in wine, and you wanted to outdo your relatives or something like that, you could grab these one of these. These are the perfect bottles. Yeah. Watch the show, learn the story. That's it. Yeah, and repeat it, mimic it. Mm -hmm. And give it a go with your spicy food. Excellent. All right, so I'm <laughs> not sure how you're going to top those guys, but we'll have to move Let's on to... Let's find out. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> it's not about topping, it's about having other wines that sit equally alongside and are there for a different reason. True. Different style. Right, okay. Maybe. I'm just... I'm getting excited. You're getting excited? <laughs> it's... Um, been something totally different. <laughs> it has been. Which I'm loving. Yes. So I noticed on the bottle here, and obviously driving down all the way up, you know, the Coonawarra and, and heading down that strip, you've got a lot of wind turbines and a lot of windmills and things like that throughout the vineyards. Is that where the inspiration of the bottle comes from? Or what's the design on the bottle relation to? So you're exactly right when you sort of look across the landscape here. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are frost fans everywhere through vineyards. Ah, that's what they frost are. Fans. Frost fans. There we go. So oh. now we've got the proper term. Yeah. Um, so frost is a, a big problem come springtime for, oh, right. for, for our crops. So the fans are actually there to protect our crops from, from frost. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there's those or you know, it could almost be wind turbines which mm -hmm. also sort of dot the Australian landscape as well and then if you think back to the old school version of windmills also sitting across the Australian sort of country landscape. Yeah. And so and that, where does that design from? come from? Who designed that one? So this label was designed by a young Adelaide graphic designer named Sophie Merritt. I'll give Sophie a plug, why not? Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful work. We've worked with Sophie quite work. quite a bit, and she's done quite a lot of work. I love that minimalism. Work. What else has she done? Yeah, she was involved in one of the very first um, Cabernet Franc labels that we did with this sort of great big red smiling poppy. And then she sort of helped put that put that together. Yeah. And our project whole bunch Cabernet, she designed the label for that. Yeah, that's right. It was wow, beautiful. She's been involved a few times. Yeah. She, did our vintage t-shirts, oh. which of course have the... I love the minimalism of the design, it's really yeah. lovely. You make them too busy, no one wears is them. Exactly, anything, exactly. Anything exactly. The back? And very so small. Oh, that, that oh, is pretty the cool. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, yeah. gorgeous. Do they make yeah. them in men's 2XL? Oh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't know. You, you had to work vintage to get a vintage shirt, that was the rule, oh. so, sorry. Mm. Right. You were welcome to come back and do vintage with us. Too for us. Oh, no, you There was one, there was one word in there that didn't really sit with me well which work work <laughs> fair enough mm. no I would, I would actually like to because i'll probably learn something it's well i'll definitely fun. learn something it's pretty fun yeah it's a lot of work but it's definitely a fun time of year right eh? next year okay. yeah. eliminating frost we'll have learned something new then. Yeah. That's yeah fantastic that is great it circulates, isn't it? Generating, circulates, it circulates the, the air, air and pushes the cold air back wow back up it's pretty delicious, isn't it? It really is. And it really, it really is. is wine that is easy to get to the bottom of the bottle. Yeah. Responsibly, of course. Yeah, always. <laughs> always. Yes. Yeah. Sherry. Yes. Mm. Yeah, bottle between Actually, the two. I'm not so sure I'd be that keen to share it. <laughs> this would be one you just pour yourself on and, and just, then yep. pour the visit of something else. Accidentally. <laughs> what did Campbell Matheson say this last week? When he described this wine, was it's a wine that you know I can't fault it. That's a bit cool. Well, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. You guys would have been pretty happy with that. Yeah, oh, yeah. pretty cracking yeah. review. Talk about blush after that. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>